Satellites play a key role in our society today, but an ever-increasing amount of space garbage is threatening the use of this technology. Michelle Slavin, what is space trash and how does it get there? Brian, every time humans launch a man-made object into space, it leaves behind debris. Traveling way above your head are thousands of satellites. As of August, there are over 2,700 active satellites in orbit. These transmit signals, which are part of our daily lives. Television, phone communication, GPS navigation, weather, air travel, or safety and security intelligence. But also up there, a lot of space trash. We have uh, approximately more than one million uh, of pieces, uh, smaller pieces, one centimeter or something like that, f uh, flying around the Earth. Space debris refers to human-made objects that are non-functional. This includes technology that has stopped working, but also fragments from these objects, like paint chips or small screws. The bits of debris number in the hundreds of thousands, and even the smallest pieces can cause a lot of damage when they're hurtling through space, reaching speeds up to 18,000 miles per hour. There's more than 5,000 non-functioning objects in, in orbit, and every year we add 74 new uh, new objects to this, uh, to this list. The institutional and commercial use of space is growing rapidly, and as humans utilize the region, we're likely going to see an ever-increasing number of collisions between the technology and space trash. If left unchecked, near-Earth orbits could become unusable for future generations. So why hasn't anyone been cleaning up the mess? It's the tragedy of the commons. No one country is responsible. It's a shared space. Plus, it's more expensive to retrieve the debris. This is a very special issue of uh, in space, and as space is now an infrastructure, we have to keep our infrastructure clean. 